Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today it's going to be the last video related to Unix. At least for now, I'm going to coming back to this subject soon to talk about uh, how to cre create a CLI, uh, all my SSH uh, framework and so on and so forth. But today, uh, uh, but I want to talk about other, other subjects like uh, Cucumber, uh, BDD, and, and how you implement with those. So, but today we're going to be talking about how you navigate better uh, on the terminal, right? Uh, we talk about aliases in previous videos. I'm going to be posting all those videos so you can check it out, talking about profile and so on. But uh, we can do actually better navigation in the terminal that's going to improve your experience and your productivity. Right? So let's start. Uh, so I have a terminal here. Uh, you can see that I'm on a bash uh, terminal. I just put on the bash because uh, it's it's more vanilla, um, and I, I want to make sure it, we're going to have the same experience. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that we we can do is the up and the down key, right? So if I execute a few commands, history, uh, ll, la, mcard. So on and so forth. I can I can uh, press the up key, up arrow key, and it's going to be uh, rotating through those commands. See, oh, yeah. I'm pressing up, and now I'm pressing down. And you can see that there is even more commands than I did it today because it it, it stores the the history of those commands, right? There is a buffer that you you can each terminal app. Uh, has their own configuration, but you can configure that buffer. So see, and I'm navigating, right? The problem with this approach is that if you, you have a command that was typed a long time ago or, or not a long time ago, but I mean like 10 commands ago, then you're going to be typing a lot of plus and, and trying to figure that out. Uh, and this is very good for uh, doing this is very good for big commands, right? Smaller commands, you won't be doing that. But then there is there is a few ways that we can improve that experience, right? The first one is the shortcut Control R. When I type Control R, I so make sure we, we know what I'm saying. Control plus R, Control R is going to be it's going to open up the search, and wh whatever I type is going to look it look for it. So if I do cat, it found the the first command with cat on it right i could have typed git and it found the first command with git right. and if i keep pressing ctrl r it's going to cycle through every git found in the commands right every command that had git on it so i'm cycling through everything that it did i can type again git let's so like cat git branch i think git branch and it's going to cycle through now the string git branch right. if i want this command i just press enter and now the command was uh, returned so this is amazing this is great right so another another nice command to use is to go to the home to the beginning and to the end of the line right so sometimes you have a big command so let me get one command here and just make it bigger uh, we have a big big command could be a curl could be anything that's big right and you don't want to be doing this all along all the way to the end so there are a few ways that you can navigate right so the default one for any terminal Regardless if you're on a Mac, on a Windows, on, on Linux, on, on a really basic Unix, anything or that you need to log in, uh, you can do Control A to go to the beginning of the line and Control E to go to the end of the line. So Control A go to the beginning and Control E goes to the end. If you're on a Mac and you have a keyboard, Right, the keyboard, the external keyboard has the home and the end key. You can do the same with the home and key, as you can see. Uh, and if you are, if you don't have external keyboard, you can type. If you can type the function key, Fn key, 
with the arrow to the left and arrow to the right to go to the beginning to the end respectively but the control a and control e is going to work regardless of the uh, operational system that you write awesome great so we talk about a the history command right so uh, let's say i don't remember a specific command that i typed and i want to take a look at the history you can see it hold so far 500 commands so let's say i want to uh re-execute this command here right how do i do that right so one one way it's i can do the way that i just explained to you but one way is by the number of that command right the number in which the id of that command let's say which is 487 i can i can type exclamation mark for 87 and when I type enter it already executed the command so this is the same command that's up there right so that's exclamation exclamation mark and whatever command that you type so let's say 501 is going to clear for me because 501 was the clear the clear one great another one that you can do is let's say you want to execute the last command that you executed right so let's say i want to execute the last git command i can do exclamation mark and git and you can see that's going to execute this git line here right i'm going to type enter and git, git branch test three right let's do bash so if i do exclamation mark bash it's going to execute this one right see the same the last one that it was executed right if i do bash 2 and now i do bash it's going to execute bash 2 it's the last one that was executed so if you know you just want to execute the last one and you know that the, the last one was the last one uh you you just use exclamation mark and you're ready to go right so another thing that i want to show you a little bit is the actual uh, app that you are using right so there are so many options for you to choose from a terminal i'm using iterm2 you can see that this is iterm2 if you have access to iterm2 in your uh, operational system that's great you should go for it otherwise just go for whatever you think is the best but one of the things that i that i that i like about iterm is what I'm going to show you, right? So there are some things that I I set up on my item. So if I go to preferences, make me a little bit bigger, and I go to general, and I go to selection, not sure, select. Let me go to profiles and keys. There are so many keys that comes with it. But then there are two ones that I that I set up myself. The rest I just leave it at default, which is this one, which out uh, arrow to the left and out arrow to the right. I do. And how do you, how do you set that command? Is you now this one is this one. This is the out one, and this is the out one. Sorry about that. So this is sending a escape sequence to the terminal with b for backwards and the out to the right is doing the same thing but f for forward and what this is doing is if i have a big line here and i use alt and the left key is going to be skipping every word so it allows me to do very fine grain uh, navigation and to the right it goes forward so that's backwards and forward i'm going to be putting all of these in the documentation so we don't need to uh, memorize it another one that i like is is when we do a selection right so when i do when i general and selection there is here copy to pasteboard on selection so whenever i select it's already copied for me i don't have to type command c or control c i just need to select and another one is this character here so this is using a regular expression to identify a word so 
and what this is doing is when I uh, double click on a word it's going to automatic select the whole word or the whole line so how does that work so if I select this now this is what it was typed if I select it was copied if I select this now this is what was selected so I'm not, my hand is here I'm just selecting right and now I'm going to delete here and paste it's whatever I selected and the other one it's it's very nice because let me do a c d f g and and some numbers if I double click here it's going to select only that number right and if I paste it it's it already copied that number the same thing for here is now it's going to paste it the whatever I marked right and if I do p w d and I do double click it's going to select everything for me which this is really nice and the way it knows what needs to select is this regular expression here that I'm going to go over with you so we see the the minus sign the plus sign the tilde command the underline the underline and the dot command so if I open here a a regular expression page called uh, what is it called I don't know uh, reg expression ex exr.com I can put my regular expression here on the top which is that the same and it's going to tell you what that regular expression is doing so the minus is matching to the to the dash character sorry to the dash character the plus is adding that so how many dash signs you had you could have one two three or four the tilde command is matching to the tilde character the underline to the underline character uh, and the dot is any character except a line, a line break right so it's, it's selecting everything so if you go here we have a dot it selected the dot it had slash it selected it slashes because of the dot so it select everything for me which is really nice right so this is one one way of uh, having more productivity and the last one but not least if you go to uh, where was it I pointer I can say if I hold command and click on a file name or a URL is going to open that for me right so if I have HTTP google.com and I hold the command is going to open the browser for me or if I hold here on my PWD whatever there is a file or, or a path is going to open you open another window it's going to open the file the that the directory on your computer so that helps me a lot so that's on iterm if I you iterm 2 if you are using another one just look around see the preferences see the configuration to see what you can play with because that's going to give you a lot of flexibility in your terminal right so that's basically what i wanted to show you thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so if you mark the bell so you can you're going to see the notifications of the next videos if you like it give the thumbs up if you have any feedback please give me and i hope i'll see you next video